Are you ready to start writing your very first nursing care plan? Or maybe you've got a nursing care plan assignment and you have no clue how to use your textbook. If you're looking to create evidence-based nursing care plans, you've got to stay locked into this series of videos where I show you how to use your nursing diagnosis textbook in just a few easy steps. By the end of this series, you'll start developing your nursing care plans with confidence. Stick around. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Just B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button now, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. In another video, I provided a basic overview and orientation of your nursing diagnosis textbook. If you've never used your textbook before and you have no clue where to look to find things, I would suggest checking out that video beforehand so you're more familiar with each section of your textbook. Now, for those of you who have a bit of an idea of how to use your textbook, we're gonna push forward now with the steps that you will take to actually create that perfect nursing care plan. In this video, I'm going to cover the initial steps to create your care plan. Step one, complete your assessment. Remember the nursing process acronym, A-D-P-I-E, ADPI, 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 right? Or assessment, diagnosis, planning, implementation, evaluation. As a nurse, our first step is always to assess. This is where you gather and document the objective and subject information about your patient. You're not going to pick a nursing diagnosis out of the air when you haven't even assessed your patient, right? Hopefully not. So the diagnosis you select needs to make sense based on the data that you collect from your assessment. Step number two, look up the symptoms and the condition in section two of the textbook. Remember what section two is called again? It's called guide to nursing diagnosis. So we don't have to have our nursing diagnosis yet. We're getting close. So we're going to use our little guide, our textbook. Specifically, we're going to start with section two to help us do that. I love section two of the textbook because you can literally think of any medical diagnosis or condition or symptom that your client has and see all the possible nursing diagnoses that you could choose from that would apply to that condition. Does this still sound confusing? Okay, don't worry. Let's go through an example together. Let's say you're taking care of a patient right now who has a medical diagnosis of angina. Let's look up the diagnosis of angina in your textbook in section two, okay? If you look up angina in section two, and I have it here in my textbook on page 25, you'll see a list of possible nursing diagnoses that all relate to angina. You see how many? There are lots, and there are lots you could possibly choose from. Now, before we make our final decision or we make a choice about which diagnosis to choose, I just wanna point out here a few things. You'll notice that each nursing diagnosis statement has at least two components. The first part is the nursing diagnostic label, which is the bolded text. You see that? And the second part is the related to factor, also referred to as the etiology or the cause or the contributing factor. So if I look underneath the title of angina in section two of your textbook, I can see the suggested diagnosis called activity and tolerance related to acute pain. But do you see the two parts here? Activity and tolerance is the diagnostic label and the related to factor is acute pain. This is important to distinguish because the next step to creating a care plan will involve looking up the diagnostic label, that bolded part, and we'll get to that in another video. So stick with me here. 
I also wanted to point out that you may have been taught or maybe some of your peers have even told you to bypass section two and go straight to the front of the book or the inner cover of your textbook to find an alphabetized list of NANDA nursing diagnoses. Now, that's not wrong either, except to do this, you have to be somewhat familiar with a few nursing diagnoses or diagnostic labels And you'll notice if you go to the front inner cover of your textbook that the list of diagnoses only has the NANDA diagnostic label and doesn't include the etiology or that related to factor, okay? So I want you to know that you can still create nursing care plans using this method by going to the front of your textbook. But if you're just learning how to develop care plans, I would recommend actually starting off with section two of the textbook and reviewing the list of possible nursing diagnoses for your patient. Why? Because it helps you think of your nursing diagnoses as it relates to your client's medical diagnoses or the condition or the symptom. Okay, so now you found a list of possible nursing diagnoses in section two or from the front of your textbook, but you still need to decide whether that diagnosis meets your client's condition or is appropriate for your client. In other words, we need to verify the accuracy of that nursing diagnosis and ensure it's appropriate for our patient. Don't just pick any old nursing diagnosis just because you think it sounds good, right? The one that you choose should make sense for your patient's condition and the assessment data that you collected. Check out the next video where I review the final steps to creating your nursing care plan. You don't want to miss it. In fact, if you're interested, I have a template for nursing care plans along with a few examples of different care plans that I've developed. So all you need to do is click on the link in the description box, follow the steps, and you can download them for free. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that.